Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video and explain how I uh, installed and set up my Blizzard Dynamics uh, plow markers on my uh, Snow X power plow. Um, this is the 8 foot to 11 foot power plow, which means these wings travel, um, I believe it's 15 inches of hydraulic travel, which is a lot more than the um, standard 8 to 10 whiteout or the, it's the same as the whiteout XL. But uh, anyways, so I actually have two sets of markers on here. This is, I'm going to admit, a little bit overkill or quite honestly a lot overkill. Um, if you're worried about uh, reliability of lights and wiring, I would definitely just mount them on the inside moldboard and I would just leave your standard markers on the wings or get some sort of reflective marker on the wings. But if you are more worried about the clearance I would definitely mount them on the outside and I'll explain how I did mine but I would also make sure you get a slightly shorter marker um, the short one here is an 18 inch the tall one is a 28 so 28 is a little bit taller than the factory marker and 18 is a little bit shorter than the factory marker the yellow cap with a bigger sort of Chevy truck you can barely see this when the blade's down over the hood, um, and I'm not exactly a short person, I'm 5'11". So it's not, uh, this is probably about as short as I would go, and if you were gonna do black cap, I would go a little taller even, but the yellow cap allows you to actually see it, whereas the black cap, you um, can only see pretty much from the red down. Um, some basic questions I get all the time really quick. The diodes are actually only facing this way, which means the part that faces the driver is darker. Um, how I did this, um, I bought some stainless steel vibration dampening clamps from McMaster Car, and uh, these are half inch inner diameter. And I got some half inch outer diameter fuel line, and then I used some genuine Loctite super glue, and I super glued the vibration dampening clamp to the rubber hose. I did not use any quick disconnects. I did use um, a really good um, lead plated uh, machine tool wire, which means the copper conductors are actually plated or tinned, excuse me, it's a tinned wire. Um, so it's really corrosion resistant compared to like a standard copper wire. There's no connectors. Um, I used 3M butt splices with heat shrink with glue. So the fittings actually when you crimp them down and you heat them up the glue actually attaches to the casing here and on the other end and I kind of shoved one end of it in so these are the crimps with the glue these are definitely better than the standard crimps keeps moisture out I really wasn't worried about connectors um the reason why I went with the shorter one obviously you'll have stuff hitting you know sticks and things if you're doing driveways but also if you're familiar with these plows when the wings open and close, it's really a violent whipping action. And the taller marker, you'd be surprised 10 inches in difference. Um, it's dramatically less uh, of an effect than it is on the taller marker that just flaps around crazily. Um, I haven't had a lot of problems with the markers. They've been generally really good. Um, so I did two vibration dampening clamps here. And then in between here and the moldboard, there's another clamp. All of these clamps were, these three clamps were glued. But then this wire here, I put like a quarter turn of rotation into it. So when the blade closes, it actually kind of coils back on itself. So the wire never desires to go in there. I genuinely have probably, oh geez, almost 400 hours on this setup. And I have not gotten a wire pinched yet in there so haven't had any problems i did some more clamps um on this one so again the, the first clamp kind of a important aspect is to the integrity of this wire into the light is kind of an important area to maintain so you don't want it to hit anything here um these are a standard unistrut uh bracket and i it's kind of hard to tell this is a standard straight 90 this one here, I actually took a double hole unistrut one and cut part of it off. Um, and then another vibration dampening clamp here. When I get to the middle of the plow, I spliced them together and then ran them back. 
and I actually um, spliced into the factory headlight connector and then underneath the hood of the hydraulics I have one fuse and three relays and what I did is I made my markers be running light turn signal switchbacks and then if my headlights are off and I turn my turn signals on, they will still blink. So in the daytime, they will activate and turn on. Um, overall, um, honestly, really great experience with them. I haven't had too many issues. Um, I left a, a large amount of service loop wire up here because I'm still messing with it. Quite honestly, two sets of these is kind of ridiculous. And I probably won't have two sets for a very long period of time. But it's sweet. I definitely turn a lot of heads and get a lot of people asking what the heck um but they're pretty awesome and yeah so kind of spliced right in here i'm actually getting power and ground off the pump motor here so there's a uh, five amp fuse under the hood and there's a running light kill relay and a left turn and a right turn kill relay and they're five pin relays and um yeah so Pretty simple setup. So basically these markers will work on any Fleet Flex truck because of the way I wired it. There's no extra connectors. There's still only the two plugs. And yeah, so if I loan this plow to someone else, the markers will still work. Or if I put it on a different truck in the fleet. Um, pretty simple. And yeah, you'll definitely wanna make sure if you're gonna do a marker on the outer edge that you have at least two fasteners in it. Because if it's one fastener, it'll tend to wanna rotate. And what will happen is inevitably it'll fall in and then your deflector will mow one of these things off and i did it but uh that was my fault so i replaced it but yeah pretty simple and uh, yeah overall uh, really great experience and they're pretty fun and it is possible to do this on a whiteout or on a fisher xl s i believe that's their power plow or the snow x power plow or a blizzard power plow um I see no reason why not to do it at this point. I have a lot of hours on it. Um, and yeah, no real, no, no major heartache or, or problems there.